Welcome to this month's Drinks with Darren. I am excited to see you guys and we got something really awesome we are drinking today. It's the Four Winds IPA. So if you haven't had it, give it a shot. This is one of my favorites. So before we get into this month's content, I want to make sure to congratulate Sarika82, the winner of last month's contest for subscribing to our YouTube channel. Sarika82 is going to enjoy two custom drinks with Darren mugs. Not the same one that we got here. We've got some new really cool ones made that should be arriving any day now and something really great to fill them up with. If you want to be entered into next month's contest, just be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and all of our subscribers are automatically entered. So what do we want to talk about on this month's Drinks with Darren? Well, there's a lot in the news recently about the government cooling off period for people buying homes. And really what that is, is to allow people when they're all in this big frenzy of making offers to take some time and get a sober second thought about what they want to do when they've made an offer on a home to purchase. Now, I did a video on all of this that you may or may not have seen. So I have linked that below so you can check that out. As you can imagine, there is good to it, there is bad to it, and there's a lot to be debated and there's more of that to come. There was a bunch of other releases as well that they made about all the things the government is planning to do to help cool off this incredibly busy real estate market. If you are new to our YouTube channel as well, be sure to check out some of our other recent videos which we've linked below, like four sneaky strategies to find off-market homes, and also one that I want all of you as my subscribers and clients to pay attention to about how homes are going to get more expensive in 2022. Something you definitely want to pay attention to, especially if you've got a mortgage coming up for renewal soon. So getting into the market and really what's going on, you are probably aware that there is a massive shortage of homes available for buyers right now. This is happening across the board, but it's really pronounced in certain areas and for certain types of homes, more so specifically detached homes and townhomes. This ultra low inventory is having incredible effects on the pricing and we are seeing people make offers that are circa 2016 or even circa 2021 like they were earlier this year. Now while the stats I'm going to show you today don't necessarily show these changes just yet because the stats are usually maybe a month or so behind, they're definitely going to show it next month. But until we really start adding more homes to the market, this potentially could continue. Now, now, one of the things that is on the horizon is mortgage rates. Mortgage rates have already increased two or three times since July of this year. One of the videos I mentioned earlier kind of discusses why, but largely the reason is, is the banks have to start insulating themselves against upcoming rate hikes from the Bank of Canada in quarter two of next year, if not sooner. This means the fixed rate mortgages have already started to go up and get more expensive and variable rate mortgages are likely on the horizon to follow very shortly. Every time the mortgage rates go up, home buyers can afford a little bit less home. And this is one of the ways that the market will start to cool itself naturally. Now let's get into the stats so you know exactly what is going on for your type of home in your market. We saw apartments climb 1.9% in the last month of loan and then to a 7.4% increase over the course of the last six months. Apartments started their run a little bit later than some of the other properties in the marketplace for the big growth in price. And they actually are one of the slower types of properties right now. But it'll be interesting to see if all the busyness in both townhomes and detached slide their way into the apartment market. Funny enough, townhomes also came in at 1.9% increase month over month with a 10.4% increase in the last six. Townhomes have been performing incredibly well and they are definitely one of the busier products right now. Lastly, we've got detached homes coming in at 2.5% in the last month and an 8% increase over the last six. People are still buying detached homes like they're not gonna be made anymore. Now, I wanna make sure that you check out our video next month because we are gonna be doing our 2022 predictions. All of the thoughts and reasons why we think the market is gonna do what it's gonna do next year. I'm going to have my special guest, Steve Karash, another prominent Surrey realtor, join me where we're going to be talking about not only what predictions we made last year, how accurate we were, but also what we see on the horizon for 2022. Now, I'm filming this on a Saturday night. I hope you have an amazing weekend. I hope you're safe. I hope you're healthy. Cheers to you, and we'll see you on the next episode of Drinks with Darren. Don't forget to subscribe.